Marcus Garvey arrived in the U.S. in 1916 and after touring much of the country founded the New York chapter of the UNIA, the Universal Negro Improvement Association and African Communities League. It had tremendous success, but there was also severe opposition. One of Garvey's major projects was the Black Star Line Steamship Corporation, through which people of African descent could acquire and man their own ships and gain the respect of the mercantile and commercial world. We have in the past been living on the mercies of others, he said, and have therefore suffered. We will continue to suffer if we do not take charge of our own affairs. For one year he gave over his entire self to talking about the Black Star Line, trying to influence people to buy stock in the company. He didn't handle the money himself, but left that to the company's officers. Millions of people were attracted to the UNIA because of the shipping company. Three months after the founding of the line, the first ship was bought and renamed the Frederick Douglass after the great African-American. She was launched in New York Harbor in October 1919. Many thousands gathered to see the boat sail under its black captain. Two other ships were acquired, Shady Side and Antonio Maceo. Garvey urged his followers to develop themselves into an industrial and commercial people. As they acquired wealth, he said, most of the wrongs inflicted on them would be adjusted. But Garvey's officers plundered the funds of the shipping company. When I started the Black Star Line, he said, I had the greatest confidence in every Negro. I gave everybody a chance, but nearly everyone I placed in a responsible position fleeced the line. If Jesus was the president of the Black Star Line, he could not have done better because the men had the disposition to...